Hello, everybody. My name is Dan, and I'm a member of Recovering Love Church, and I'm here today with Brad Herman, and we're going to be talking about Holy Week. Hi, Brad. Good Hi, to Dan. see you. Yeah, same. Nice to see you. Let me start with a basic question. What is Holy Week? Well, in the Christian tradition, anyhow, it uh, begins with Palm Sunday, the Sunday before Easter, and it marks Jesus's entry into Jerusalem and the beginning of that week of really dramatic and important mm -hmm. passages in the life of Jesus from uh, the Last Supper to his arrest, to his trial, to his what they call the Passion, that's the crucifixion uh, and his burial. And then of course on Easter we celebrate his resurrection, uh, the God resurrected him from the grave, from the tomb, and, uh, and how remarkable and beautiful that is. So we as a church, uh, the Christian church, has different ways of observing Holy Week. So that's Holy Week. Well, let's talk about that. So Re Recovering Love Church is planning, what, what are you planning in terms of honoring and, and recognizing and celebrating? Yes. Well, the exciting thing about Holy Week this year is that we are going to be opening up the church to yeah. live in-person worship beginning Thursday, April 1st, which is Holy Thursday or Monday Thursday, which observes Jesus's uh, final dinner or the Last Supper with his disciples. And on that evening at Recovering Love Church, we'll be uh, celebrating uh, COVID-compliant communion uh, we'll be, uh, I'll be doing an illustration of foot washing, which is what Jesus did during that last supper as a mandate for how uh, his followers ought to treat others. And so it'll have some music and just different rituals that'll help people uh, begin to mark that important event with others in faith. And then on Friday evening, we're going to have what's called a tenebrae service, and that's mm. Latin for darkness. Mm. It's a service that includes the reading of um, Jesus's arrest and trial and crucifixion, and it uses music and rituals like lit candles and extinguishing them, and it's just a, a very meditative, contemplative way to really be with those events in spiritual ways and to dare to go um, with Jesus through that and appreciation for his love, his sacrifice for us. And then yeah. on Easter Sunday, we're going to be meeting on our at our usual time at 5.30 p.m. for a real unique worship service where people are going to be talking about the similarities between the resurrection of Jesus and recovery. Mm. So living expressions of Easter through the witness of people in recovery. Lots wow. of music and maybe a special um, gathering afterwards, but we'll leave that uh, as kind of a surprise, so. Nice, nice, I'm excited. I could feel a lot of that just by your description of it. So I'm looking forward to that. Oh. And live, live now, it, it's gonna be live. Will it be online? Live and online? Yep, it'll be a hybrid. So if you nice. want to come personally, yes. But if you'd like to watch it via Zoom, uh, we'll have that available. Just go to www.recoveringlovechurch.com for information. So I hope, nice, yeah. I hope you know, you'll be joining us and a bunch of people too for this important week uh, together.